Hey, how's it going? So today we're unboxing the Ice to Co. Iceless Cooler. I'm really excited for this to come in. It finally came in. So this one would just be a quick unboxing. And then later on, I'll do kind of like a comparison between this and one of my other uh, Isis, uh, Isis cooler. Again, this is the Icicle 20. So this could hold up to about 28 cans. They call it the uh, 21 quarts or 20 liter. Let me get this out of the box here. Let's see if I can get it out nice and neat. One person. I was gonna unbox this yesterday, but I wanted to let it sit uh, for at least 24 hours because uh, the way they shipped it, this thing was basically upside down the whole time. So um, I'm gonna have to just uh, give it a long test run to make sure that it's still okay. I mean, I know these fridges, they kind of let you do that up to 30 to 40% uh, at an angle, but this thing was straight up upside down and I don't know for how long and if it was shipped upside down for a long time or not. So I'm hoping there's no long-term damages to the, to the fridge. Again, uh, the reason why these fridge cost so much is because it has a lot of tech in it. But the main thing is that it has a, the compressor that everyone wants. The Dan Frost uh, compressor. That's one of the mo most popular, uh, high quality, top of the line. So in the bag you'll see we have the plain uh, AC adapter and then the DC right here. Oh, so this is a straight up DC adapter. Oh, okay. So it's a DC adapter that plugs into the wall. AC adapter. Okay. Yes. That's a little bit different. Okay. So this one here is the DC plug to go. So with the other adapter, you plug the DC to the DC, which plugs into the AC wall outlet. Okay. And usually they have one of each. Uh, but okay. That makes sense, I guess. Okay, check this out. And as you can see, I got the nice fresh white one. It comes in a nice dark gray, which I think is a lot nicer looking, but for some reason the white one just feels more lux luxurious for me. So that's why I went with the white. So it has handles on each side, making it very easy to take out. And what I would do is take it out, close the box, and unbox it. So here we go with the logo on top. Oh wow, okay, that was a easy way to take off the bag. So as you can see, Okay, I guess I'll have to do a little walk around here. So as you can see, it has this very nice, uh, kind of like a glitter. Uh, you can see right there, yeah. There's ice, Isico, ice coat. And then you can see a little glitter effect that it has in the white. There's the power buttons, control center. And this here is a link where you can download the app. I'm just going to take this off here. I'm not really sure why this is here. I guess it's just to kind of protect the, the frame. And yet, they have one this side too. From there, it's an easy uh, clip, and you can open it up like that. It has a little menu, I mean a little uh, chart to let you know the, the Fahrenheit and Celsius that you would need for each item, the recommended setting. Here's the logo. Here's a diagram, and it 
has a nice built-in LED light on the side. It's on silica. And here's the divider here. So when, once you, when you install the divider, it knows and it'll give you two uh, menus of, of, if you want, of how cold for each, right? So this side would be the freezer and this side is refrigerant, refrigerator side, right? And then when you remove the divider, it has a little sensor right here. And it'll know and it'll make the whole thing a fridge or a whole thing a freezer. You have to pick one or the other. If you add this back in, it would know and they'll put this side as the freezer. I should see the black side has the glitter too. Is that pretty? And it matches and it's sealed right here against the rubber seal, which is very nice and plush. And unlike the other ones, we have a nice soft close. Which is kind of cool, but you still have to remember you have to come back and push it close. <laughs> so I mean I guess it's kind of cool because it does the soft close feature but the only thing is you know if you do this most likely you're just gonna be walking away so I wish this would kind of somehow at least suck it in or just let it close automatically no matter what I mean worst case you just have to just kind of push it down with your finger um, it kind of slows down the process because I wouldn't want to try to slam it too hard, you know, because you don't want to mess up the hinge or anything if you're trying to, you know, push it past the soft close. Okay. Comes with a nice little recessed handle. Feels very nice and secure. Metal. Oh, no, it's plastic. Front side, here's the vents. Very nicely done. Here's the fuse right here, and here's the DC plug right here. And on the back side, just low vent. So you just have to make sure whenever you're packing your car, that this side does not get blocked by anything. No jackets or boxes. You know, you want to have a lot of ventilation so that your compressor can work nice, fast, and efficient. All right. So in the next day, or probably this weekend, I'll be going out camping. So I'll probably do like a little follow-up video to kind of show you how we pack this, what we will include into this, you know. But it'll be exciting. Um, and here's the other fridge here, which I'll do a little comparison to. Granted, this one's a little bit bigger. I think this one's like uh, 26 quarts versus this one's, what, 21 quarts, right? But we'll see. Now I'll do a little comparison and I'll let you know, all right? But first off, uh, my impression of this is it's a beautiful device. I think everyone who purchased one of these, they fall in love with it just because of its looks and its capabilities for this size. You have the uh, Bluetooth app right here, the QR code where you can download the app. And from there, you can control this from, you know, if you're sitting in front driving, and you want to check on your food in the back of the trunk. If this was, you know, located in the back of your trunk, then you could sit there. You could adjust it. You could do a lot of different things to to program your your Isis cooler from Isico. And I will have some power stations charging this, so it'll be a whole weekend of me using this on a battery power bank, solar power bank, where you want to call it. And I'll give you kind of like an update of how much of uh, uh, voltage, wattage that it uses within a day or two. Uh, my biggest one is a 300 watt, so I'm going to test this to see if this will run a whole weekend, which is going to be Friday, Saturday, and Sunday morning, right? So it, it'll be a good test. We'll see how it goes, all right? Again, this is the Isico, Isico 20. It's a beautiful dual zone capable so you have like frozen foods in here if you want soft clothes has a nice uh, control center with two LEDs for each side whenever that the usage of freezer is in, enabled and that has the nice lockout button but the build quality is awesome. I mean, it's still plastic. Um, you can kind of see a little bit of misalignment here, but it's not a big deal. 
but overall this is a beautiful machine it won some awards uh, I could leave the link of the awards they won below in the description but just looking at it you know it's a beautiful handcrafted awesome ice cooler <laughs> yeah I'm kind of speechless just because I know um, this is a typical one that you will see it's kind of you know simply made um, simple construction but it's just it's not very eye appealing right but something like this with the round edges yeah it's nice very nice all right if you have questions or comments leave it below I'll leave I'll just make sure you follow and you'll see a little follow-up video in like about two three days all right I'll leave it there